Edwards looks to switch. Jay might have put a wheel off in that chase position. Runs that shallow line. Gaining back that proximity as they come through into the Repco corner at the top end of the circuit here. They come through to switch. And then back up through. Into that Valvoline acceleration zone. Oh, and contact. That, that was a front and rear contact. As we see those cars come to a stop. I'll certainly be looking, the uh, officials will be looking over that lead car, ensuring that it's okay. Hey, hey guys, uh, I know that you guys are doing your YouTube stuff, but you guys didn't do very well. You've got to go away. You, 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 gotta, you guys suck. Uh, what's your name? Chris who? Red Rudnick, come over and say hello, Chris. I thought you'd keep that rolling so I could burn for you. How are you, brother? I'm doing pretty good. How are you, man? I'm good, man. What happened? Uh, I suck, apparently. Yeah, no, I suck, apparently. It's great. What a crowd. These guys love you. Yeah, no, I mean, coming into, like, the first outer zones and stuff, I, I just, I knew Adam was a really good driver, so I just tried to give it everything I could. And then towards the back half, I kind of just ended up, like, choking up a little bit. Thought I was closer than I actually was. Ended up scrubbing some speed, getting out of boost, and then even coming out back to the outer zones, and I ended up just falling apart. I was just joking when I told you you guys suck and you had to leave. You can sit back there and carry on. I mean, you're not kicked out. We're yeah. bad people in New Zealand, but bad for taking the mickey rather than yeah, actually no, care. We're out of here. We suck. We're going to just leave. Leave with the pride, you know? <laughs> what airline are you flying out of here on? Uh, wait, what did you say? What airline? Oh, sorry, you wouldn't understand me. I'm a Maori. Um, what airline? I really understand you. American <laughs> Airlines. American. American <laughs> Airlines. Um, where's the next place you guys are heading to? Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been traveling since Christmas, so. And I'm going to stay home for a couple of days and then I'm going to Florida. Florida's a great place. You're going to go catch up with any other YouTube sensations while you're in Florida. Isn't LZ out there? Yeah, actually, I have my competition car at LZ's right now. So he's going to help me kind of piece that thing together. And I'm going to try to get a little more serious this year and have some fun. That sounds amazing. Look, man, we can't, we can't thank you enough for coming to New Zealand. It's great to have you here. Are you going to come back? Oh, of course. I'm definitely coming back for sure. I'm going to bring you a competition car back, or should we just continue to bring Kiwi cars? They're pretty good, though. I mean, hey, if you're paying for it, I mean, I'll bring it. You want to sponsor me? No, but you know what? I can find you sponsors. Yeah, all good, man. If you want to get my car here, we'll get it here. And of course, where do people go to so they can continue to see the amazing campaign of your life? You can follow me on YouTube, Rice or Miata. Yeah, I know. I made it when I was 15. But you can follow me on YouTube, Rice or Miata, if you want to check it out. Um, we usually just crash and break and catch things on fire. So it's usually a crap show. All right, man. Thank you for coming to New Zealand. Thank you, my man. Good to see you guys. Um, and I, see, I, I think somebody has said, Steve, you were in the latest episode up in the sky with you guys. Good to see you guys. Take care. All right, so Dan Edwards has taken his five minutes because he smashed a rim. Great to have Chris Rudnick, Rice Miata here. These YouTube sensations. I think I might start a YouTube channel. I'm going to call it Mr. Beast. Do you think it's been taken yet? I'm going to give away stuff to people. Uh, so it looks like the one more time battle is back out here on track. It's the Plan B FC of Adam Whitehead going up against Ra Hader in the Warehouse Auto Parts 2 JZ powered Nissan S15. Can't go by that right. Doesn't matter. Of course, it's one o'clock this afternoon. When are we live on Sky Sport? One o'clock this afternoon. We'll go with one. If it's not one, it's two. My favourite thing, the OMT. I've got to teach you guys why we should delete these from drifting worldwide. Who's going to take the win? We're going to about find out. As Whitehead. It's almost like he's trying to pork up the competition, but no, let's see what the plan B of C of Adam Whitehead can do. Just a nice, solid angle. Not too many corrections for Adam Whitehead. Might have just dropped a wheel over. Those judges were punishing for that yesterday. Really impressive.
And it's the second half of the battle. Now Rahaders turn to lead. Adam Whitehead as he entered into the first turn. Ra coming through, he switches, keeping inside the lines. Ra though washes up and comes through and stop. It's, uh, you can see Adam Whitehead's literally come to a stop to make sure that his mate is okay. So we'll go up and uh, get the recovery crew out there to check on Ra, make sure he's all right. And then, of course, Sean Potros is meant to be driving that car. So that will be enough for Whitehead to go through. And let's just check and make sure that uh, Ra's got out of the car. So great to see. That was a heavy hit for Ra Hader. Came through into the, just through that final turn. Grazed the concrete, but the car washing out and uh, sliding into the barriers pretty damn hard so glad to see that glad to see that uh, Ra is out of the car So front bumper comes off. Just going to be look at the uh, just hope that the uh, that Ra's car is going to be good enough because I think he's going to be out. Adam Whitehead should take the win, and Sean Potros in the Pro Championship has borrowed that car. So Sean Potros is in 12th position, going up against 21st position, Mitch Lana, in the first round on the left-hand side of the tree. So uh, that'll be the one, two, three, fourth battle of the day in pro. So a bit of work for this team to do. I mean, I've seen a Formula One car change everything in about 20 minutes. <laughs> I saw a sprint car change an engine once in 11 minutes at Bay Park. These guys can fix that. It was actually nine minutes, but they just took their time for two of it. What was that? There was Steve Kinzer. See Guy Maxwell and the team just going around to check on their teammate. Ra's going up to tell them what's happened, what they need. Welcome back to the Valvoline D1 International Drifting Championship. It is round number two here at Mount Smart Stadium. We've uh, just had a bit of an issue on track with Ra Hader hitting the concrete very, very hard. That car needing a lot of work done on it. Of course, Ra will be out, but there is a problem. That Ra's car is meant to be used by Sean Potros today in the Pro Championship. Potros. Little red wire door, walking past. <coughs> well, the uh, team out here ensuring that uh, the track is kept in tip top condition. Kenny Ruddle making sure that while well, they've got the opportunity, they're keeping the place clean and tidy, and it looks like they've uh, moved the Just use the, yeah, use the right, uh, come on, let's get going. I would have had that done by now. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Rex from Mimico for arranging the use of a forklift here this weekend so that we could make the track repairs. 
Rick's a long-time supporter of the D1NZ, and I've got to say, Rick's, I appreciate what you do, mate. Cam Bank, how are you? You've just turned up. It's uh, I love how, uh, who was it? Who couldn't make it? Geordie Cole couldn't be there. And you said, Geordie, if you can get there, I will sponsor you to get Cam. Welcome to the, what it's like to stand in the commentary box. I sure did, mate. Um, Mr. at midday on Friday. said, what are you doing? He's like, I'm driving the painted pool. I said, no, you're not, mate. You're going home to get your car ready. You're going drifting. So um, I got a message from his mum last night. She was the one painting the pool on Saturday and this morning she's trying to get the pool done to come down and support Geordie Cole. Oh, so all we need is Jesse Greenslade to say, Cam Bank, I'll pay for you to be here and then you could go and do the same as what you did for, for Geordie Cole. Mate, talk Jesse Greenslade into sponsoring anyone here? Oof. It's hard work, I tell you that. I love Jesse, great guy. So lazy. He got into his Tesla and put it onto full autonomy mode and said, just drive me home. He was tired yesterday. He sure did. He sure did. He rung me. He rung me and said, I just made it home safe. My car got me there. So, um... Have you had a skid in his Tesla? I've actually been in it and I was godsmacked. How snap it throws you. Uh, those Teslas are insanely fast. I feel like a 2J. <laughs> Definitely not a 2J, mate. Definitely not. <laughs> like a like an RB34. Uh, RB30.2. Oh, that's where we're talking. That's what we were talking. All right, that's where we're talking. Who have we got now? We've got Matty J going up against Daniel Edwards. You know, you know both of these drop. Ah, uh, yeah, Danny. <laughs> Bloody well for his first season in D1. Um, so uh, fingers crossed he gets into the top four. A little bit of a dive there from Dan. So, <laughs> yeah. Matty J dying in a bit of angle as he comes through to switch. It's been a bit. <laughs> Hit him. Good run. So, how long has he been drifting for? Uh, Dan's been drifting for probably about four or five years now, but this is his first time doing uh, pro sport, and um, so I'm uh, pff, big ups to him. He's doing a bloody good job out there. Oh, that's fantastic for Cam Bank. So we're going to see you back at any stage, you know, just if you feel like it one day. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, taken the season off, um, trying to save a bit of money, build a house, work on the car, tidy it up a bit. I've just had a baby, so. You know, Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. I thought it would be um, probably a sensible uh, move to just take the season off. And it's so, it's, it's awesome walking into the pits, just being so cool, calm and collective. <laughs> Watching everyone stressing out, working on their cars. I'm just walking through, going up, yarning with them. So, yeah, it's, I'm actually real impressed with the, um, all the pro sport drivers this season. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ooh, Dan made a little bit of, ooh, no, that, no, no, that was on the exit, that was on the exit. We definitely need Dan to go through. Well done, Matty J going through into the top four. There's one more battle to go, and then uh, we will be heading off and then joining the, the team on Sky TV, Sky Sport, live later on this afternoon. Darling D1NZ Pro Championship. It's round two here at Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland. One more battle to go to find a spot in the top four. Kiske, Nagashima, Peak Driver. Driver, having a great... Uh, a great trip through into the top eight. Driver got a free pass from the six, uh, from the th 24 to the 16, but went up against uh, Jake Fastnage. Won that battle there. Put him up against Kesuke Nagashima, and I can hear the sound of power and beauty with Kesuke Nagashima. 
doing very well. Just uh, seen uh, one of the, the gods of the D1NZ just pull on up. An absolute legend and idol of mine, Brendan Dunker. A man that has made more decisions and results in the last 20 years of D1NZ than anybody else. If you type in God, New Zealand and drifting, Brendan Dunker's face and jawline will come through. Fighters took performance 86 of Keske Nagashima. Come on, Keske, get in there, boy. Smoke him. The driver he's unfazed at the moment. Comes through and switches. He'll be back up on the Ed Keske. Great run by both of these two drivers. The S13 in Keske, the most popular car in the history of the universe of D1NZ, the beautiful 86. The only thing that would make that car any more better would be if it was a hatch. GT86 putting the hammer down. Driver though unfazed to come out through the Repco turn through the switch and will be back up onto that final link. ECU war ride. And back through the Valvoline. <laughs> times before to have a great chase you've got to have a fantastic lead run and we'll see which way the judges choose to go we've seen three spots in the top four already with Case Pullenbury, Adam Whitehead, Matty J now who is going to join them will it be Kesuke Nagashima will it be Pete Drever we will find out of course after this we'll be switching off Facebook you can join us live on Sky Sport, I think it's going to be on Sky Sport 5 channel, maybe 55, that's where it normally is, and going through into the top four is Pete Drever, great drive by him, Case Bullenbury, Adam Whitehead, Maddie J and Pete Drever, that is your top four for Pro Sport today, the Valvoline T1NZ National Drifting Championship, Mount Smart round number two. Alright, so just uh, been finding out the information, what's going on here, just for our viewers online. So uh, we will continue on for a short time. We're going to find out who is going to go into the final, who is going to be our battle for third and fourth. And then we'll keep offline and move across to Sky Sport, to Fox Sport and to KO. I think we're heading off those ones there. I know they were supposed to be there yesterday if we were originally going to do the Friday, Saturday. Now that it's Saturday, Sunday. Not sure if our Australian viewers, but I think Motorsport TV will still pick them up. Um, so KO, yes, there we go.
So D1NZ celebrating 20 years of drifting throughout Aotearoa, New Zealand. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a quick ad break for those online. We'll see you back shortly. <laughs> the hosts of sponsors on the Pullenbury car, Case Pullenbury. First place yesterday in qualifying, wanting to go all the way and seal the deal today. This is for a spot in the final he'll be going up against. The Plan B FC. Alice of Adam Whitehead. Whitehead has certainly uh, been one of two that have travelled a long way to be here this weekend. They uh, himself, Zach Zayden, Zach Antics, travelling up from the Hawke's Bay. The only thing he could bring was a car and a jack. The car was somewhere, the jack and himself, his crew, unable to make it because they were stuck in the floods following the cyclone. But he was able to uh, cross a few rivers and get himself here. And it's great to see him here. I know a couple of the boys, the Sorensen, said, Steve, we've just managed to get power. We were able to watch the live stream yesterday, and I certainly hope that those guys are watching it today and able to at least enjoy a little bit of happiness in the uh, in the sadness that has happened down there in the Hawke's Bay. Uh, of course, as I mentioned yesterday, on behalf of D1NZ, we certainly wish the best to all of everybody that are struggling, that are um, hurting down there, and the people that have uh, lost their homes and lost loved ones. Let's go and get ready for the battle. Starts off, oh, and contact. And the uh, plan B will be now looking for a plan C. And Case pulls out. Let's have a uh, look, so. So Case will head back on over, and poor Adam Whitehead. Of course, uh, if you are online, if you want to sign up for a Sky Sport seven-day free trial, go and check it. Go to skysport.co.nz, and you will find all the information there. Adam Whitehead gets out, has a look at the car, and he sees that it's a little bit scratched up, but uh, it's probably nothing in comparison to what he's seen on the way here. 12 hours that man travelled to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Adam Whitehead. Well, on the flat deck for the FCRX7. And that will see... Well, that's the first half of the battle, so essentially, if he could fix it, he can get it back to a second half. Um, I think that we will probably see him pull out at this point here, rather than try and spend the time on getting it ready to go again. Might here just uh, looking at the car, they'll get it on the back of the flat deck. Thank you to Ryan and the team, making sure that all these drivers get uh, picked up safe from our rescue team. And then we'll get ready for the next battle. I don't know if Adam's going to choose to try and get that car f fixed. I think he could probably call a competition five minutes. But he may look at it and say it's going to take more than that, especially with no crew. He has got uh, Team DSR on his side. Huge thank you again to Team DSR when they were made aware that Adam had no crew, etc., and was coming up here to D1 essentially by himself. Uh, they jumped on and said, well, we've got a big truck, we've got a big heart, and we want to help you out. So We'll just reverse that car up. 
getting dragged up by the winch and then we'll get ready for our next battle on the right hand side which will be between Maddie J and Pete Drever. So Pete Drever got a pass through into the top 24, into the top 16 here to win over Jake Fastenage and then Keske Nagashima in the top 8 to book himself in a spot on the 4. Maddie J, he had to go through the top 24 with a win over Rody Knowles. Then he took out Calvin Clark. From there, he moved on to a great battle between himself and Daniel Edwards. And then we'll go up against Pete Drever. Well, I've just uh, just heard from Race Control, and uh, this is what a sensible call, and thank you, Adam Whitehead. Adam Whitehead's taking a look at the car. He knows that that car is not going to be able to be repaired in the five minutes that he's got, so he has elected to forfeit his opportunity to run in this battle to take on to have a shot at first position. So, Case Pullenbury will take the win. He's going to go up against the winner of Matty J and Pete Drever. Adam Whitehead will now go into the battle of third for third and fourth and will be doing his best to try and get up on a podium today, um, which would be absolutely fantastic for him. And are ready now for our next battle to find a place in the final. As we see the first car line up, Pete Drever. As this side by side release from the line, a pair of S13s for a place in the final. Leads of Pete Drever, the MCA 13 of Matty J in the chase position. They come through. Rear wheel off, but I'm sure the judges can see that. They come through diamonding off the turn and heading up through Repco. They'll come through and switch, and it'll be back up through the link corner. Three, the big angle. Matty J. Proximities to come through and cross the line. Which way would you send the advantage? We'll just go through and re-scrub these tyres again and uh, come back for the second half of the battle as we uh, check out the replay. Dreber leads out. See Dreber running a whole heap of angle. Of course, that meaning the car is a little bit slower to go through. Shallower line from the chase car. 
It's giving them the ability to close up, and you'll see that Matty J is able to do this as they come through that final section. down the front straight here. <laughs> right up by the wall, now in the wall, and that should be it for Matty J. So, kissing the concrete will be enough to lose you the battle, but because we will be looking at bringing these cars through later on today for their top four as part of our Sky Sport coverage, it's going to give these drivers a lot more time to work and repair on their car. I can the plan BFC of Adam Whitehead is already tearing it apart. I'm sure and he can fix it, and Matty J will be doing the same. So back to the pits. I'm sure that uh, just wait for the confirmation that we have got a winner, and that we are going to see the top, what the top four, what the final will be at this moment. At this stage, it's Case Paul and Burry certainly one hand on the round and trying to get a hand on the championship as well. We've got Adam Whitehead who will be battling for third and fourth. I'm assuming that it's going to be uh, Pete Drever that goes through to the final. if it's going to show up on my uh, on my sheet or whether so and I haven't got a radio through to a race control but we'll certainly find out shortly if it is I'm sure somebody in the broadcasting truck will send me a message so if you guys at home don't know what that is that was a cry from help for help from the commentator um, hoping that he could use the microphone to get the answers he needs Of course, we'll be uh, live on Sky Sports shortly with broadcast, broadcast led by Stephen McIver, myself, and Colin Armstrong up in the commentary box. And confirmation is here. Case Pullenbury in the final will go up against the winner of Matty J versus Pete Drever with Pete Drever taking the win. The battle for third and fourth will be Adam Whitehead going up against Matty J. And they'll get ready to go. So thanks very much for joining us. For the Valvoline D1NZ National Drifting Championship here, Mount Smart Stadium, round number two this weekend. Of course, the Pro and the Pro Sport Championship. If you're joining me live on uh, Facebook, thanks for tuning in. We'll certainly look forward to seeing you as our coverage recommences on Sky Sport and on KO today. Um, for those here at Mount Smart, we'll be back in a few more minutes' time. It looks like we're going to go up and put maybe one more practice session through for Pro. I can hear the sound of some roaring V8s. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you soon. This is round two of Valvoline D1NZ from Mount Smart Stadium, which is behind the main stadium, which of course is home to the New Zealand Warriors, who are have a trial game today and then they're back into it. Their first game is against the Newcastle Knights. Well, that's on the footy field, that's the green patch. Uh, of course, the grey patch, which just gives us all that burning rubber, is round two of Valvoline D1NZ. And for the first time, we're going to show Pro Sport and the final four. Let's just uh, probably have a quick chat to the guys over here. Matty J over here. Uh, I think they're. I think that. I think they're. A little, I think they're a little pumped too about doing this. So we get to see Pro Sport on the, on the big show. Are you, are you pumped for that? Yeah, pumped for it. Yeah. Uh, you you've looked strong all weekend. Does it feel like that? Yeah, it feels real good. Um, the car's on song, and um, I, I'm feeling real confident in the seat. So yeah, push for this number three. All right, let's go and see Adam White here in the uh, FCRX7. Adam, uh, I said I said Adam Whitehead. Yes, I did say Adam Whitehead. Uh, a good one of our man, men from Hawke's Bay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Feeling for the whanau, mate? Yeah, I'm just quite glad I was able to make it here. Really, um, I know I should be at home helping, but um, you know, I'm, um, I'll get back home tomorrow and uh, help out where I can and see if everyone's all right and everything. And yeah, 
So talk to us about your weekend so far. You made the final four. Must feel good. Yeah, it is, it is feeling good. Um, had a little bit of a dust up with the wall earlier, which um, um, now we're battling for third and fourth. But um, that was all good. We were able to get it fixed in, in time. And um, here we are. We'll try and get that third. All right, mate. That's cool. Good on you, Adam. Thanks for being part of it and uh, making the long trip down. Tony, we're going to take a bit of a long trip down. I know I've been working you over time, but round one was his case pull and bury in, in pro sport, and he was incredibly, well, strong, full stop. His brother Cody's going to have to watch him do the job today, but I've got to say, this battle here, Pete Trevor on, on the left-hand side and Cody Pull and Burry on the right-hand side uh, could be one of the cracking battles. I love that carbon fibre bonnet, by the way. Um, Mate, you're just on song right now. Does it feel like that? Um, yeah, I don't know about that. It's, it's been a little bit, so we'll see what the track's like. Um, we'll see on our site lap, and um, yeah, we'll just send it in there and hope for the best. You just love this. You just love this, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll just quickly go and see Pete Trevor because we're uh, on KO and we're going to come out from a commercial break from somewhere else. Mate, car looks good, feels good, ready to ready to take it to him. Yeah, mate. Yep, definitely. Uh, hopefully, um, yeah, we can put it to his door and and um, put on a bit of a show for the crowd and, and the people watching at home, definitely. All right, mate. So there's pro sport top four battles coming up uh, live on KO Around Australia and very soon on... Well, welcome back to the Babbling D1NZ National Drifting Championship. It is round number two here in Tamaki, Makoto, Auckland. It is... Time now to bring out our top four in the Pro Sport Championship. We're going to see Cole, the battle for third and fourth, and then the battle for first and second. Yeah, those, <coughs> we say it every year, man. They, they put on a show. Now, I know Case Pullenbari has been a, a star so far this weekend. I, it sounded like he had a few motor issues. I'm not too sure. But I'll see uh, Pete Drever as well, driving really well, really, really well in the uh, ABC Drift um, for kids, S13, uh, just really like seeing these guys stepping up and, and having fun. Then, like you say, we've got um, Matty J driving so well, so well. I love seeing him out there. He's in that one and a half J S13. And then we've got Adam Whitehead as well in the uh, FC RX7. Now, someone was telling me that's Matt Quox. Yeah, I think it was me. I'm pretty sure I heard that it was Matt Cox and that he was, um, that essentially Adam was. Mac will, um, well, I was going to say Mac will uh, message me and tell me if I'm right or wrong, but I don't, I don't know if that message is going to come through. I know we talked about everybody in the Hawks Bay, and that's exactly where um, Adam Whitehead has come from. He, uh, he certainly went across rivers to get here literally uh, this weekend. And again, just as we've said many, many times during the show, we're certainly thinking of the team, the families, and everybody down in the Hawks Bay region. Well, there is the Psycho Jay-Z, the 1.5 JC, and that is Matty J behind the wheel. He'll be one of the drivers that are going to take on the track shortly. Pro Sport, the final, but the battle for third and fourth to find the first spot on the podium will be up next. MCA on the side, Fabrication Welding Services, Permapine, and many, many more names. Pro Sport guys, lots of names on the side because it takes lots and lots of sponsors to get these cars out here on track. Oh, it does indeed, and we see, you know, he's, he's uh, stitched that car back together because his last battle, he uh, put it into the wall, but was able to, to get through now to the uh, third and fourth battle. So good to see uh, Matty J and obviously all the fans out there really interested in uh, the sport, you know, tucking away in the, uh, in the shade because it is a hot day out there. Well, there's a few people. I just, uh, there's a few people down in the merch tent, uh, I think, getting themselves, I don't know if you're on a D1NZ uh, hoodie today, but I'm sure there's probably some t-shirts and things. There was a guy literally wearing a D1NZ hoodie, though. You not see that. He, he must have been absolutely roasting because it is not <laughs> cool outside there. Wow. What? Just heard over the... Well, we, we have to say, we've been hearing about it the whole time, right? He's been fighting that steering issue. So, no doubt there's obviously something that's gone further. I know yesterday he got a whole new steering well, rack no, put hang in. Hang on. How, why does he have to take his five now? The Pro Sport are coming out. Oh, Pro was meant to come on after the advert break, and then we were... Okay, that's all right. 
So That's we've right. got uh, four drivers in pro that are going to get ready to come out for their top. Oh, they're going to do their semi-final battles anyway. There goes Cade in Yeah, there. I was going to say, is that Cade just sitting up there, you know? Just waiting, waiting for Finger to come out. He's going to go and watch. Uh, and there goes the Pro Blast Plan B CM Engineering LS powered FCRX7 out of the Hawks Bay all day. It is Adam Whitehead. Adam Whitehead just going for a sighting lap. Of course, these drivers finished their um, their competition up until now about three hours ago, and they're trying to just ensure that they're happy with their cars. Got a little bit of heat in it, and then a quick clutch kick, and off we go. Yeah, definitely uh, good to see them back out there. They've had three hours since sort of they had their incident. I know he uh, definitely took out the uh, front wheel pretty heavily when uh, me and Sir Stephen MacGyver were walking around in the pits. Uh, there was a bit of damage there, and he did the right call, you know. It didn't actually take us five minutes. Uh, just forfeited the last part of the battle, knowing that he was... Um, yeah, going to have three hours up his sleeve to get the car fixed and sorted. So, good to see. Here we go here too. Matty J out. A lot of people that do a lot of amazing things in the D1NZ. I know that uh, half the D1NZ team have been running six weeks long. And a huge thank you to each and every one of them from uh, Joe through to Paul Fallon. Um, of course... Brendan White and so many more and the production crew. Those guys have gone non-stop. So uh, Paul Fallon, he's come to the end of his six-week stint back to back to back and still comes up and says here's a couple of drinks. Boys. Don't they still have another two more to go? They've still got the 86 We're going to give them a week off. Oh. <laughs> no, they've got four to go. Four they've got a week off go. in between. Wow. Yeah, we're going to call it their them. summer break. Holy... All right, MCA Fabrication and Welding Services on the side of that Psycho 1.5 JZ Matty J behind the wheel. Looking angry and red at the Babylon D1NZ Pro Sport Championship. He's been this driving is going really well. To, this will be the battle for third and fourth, and we'll see some heat going into the tyres of the Plan BFC. Alice, Adam Whitehead. We're going pretty good for time. Five minutes past the hour, four o'clock. As we'll see these drivers line up side by side. Let's hope it's a one more time. No, we don't want that, Steve. <laughs> see, when you've been commentating, you've been doing this for, like, this is your second full year, and now you understand what I understand. Here we go. It's a battle for third and fourth Pro Sport Championship. Valvoline D1 NZ. It's their second round. First round for them was at Hampton Downs last week, and it is time now to find who the top two, three spots will be on the podium. This is the battle for third place. Adam Whitehead versus Matty J. Whitehead in the lead position. Jay already been gapped. Wow, yeah, sleeping on the line a little bit there, but he's managed to catch back up, gather it up. That's Matty J. done really, really well through this intersection now as he goes to transition, Steve, into this outside zone. Adam Whitehead pushing really wide there, but Matty J. doing a good job. Sit back, just waiting, just waiting, ready to pounce for this final corner as they come through the teardrop. Quick, fast transition. Now they lay on the throttle to finish the last part of the section. As they come through, move around the cones, they'll quickly go drive out, turn around, come back in again. Of course, this is pro sport. What's the main differences between pro and pro sport, Kyle? Uh, mainly just the tyre size. You're allowed any horsepower you want, uh, bar nitrous, I think. And yeah, the 265 uh, width, that's two, 265 millimetre wide semi slick tyre to a 235 millimetre road tyre. So that's sort of the, the, the only difference there is. They can have as much horsepower as they want, uh, any sort of style, car, so on, so forth, but restricted by the size of the tyre. There we go. I know that. Uh, I know both of the. Well, actually, I think we're going to go back quickly to the replay. Let's see. It. Smooth run, apart from a couple of cones getting knocked out of the way. Plan B, the SC coming through, and a nice arc to start with. But so let's watch here. So the judges will want to know how many wheels over. Bang. One, two. Was that three? Or was that two? Well, oh, bit of contact there. Adam Whitehead's got to know he has to give way to uh, Matty J. So 
bit of a deduction will be straight away to uh, Adam Whitehead there pushing into the side of Matty J. But look at this, Matty pulling away from uh, Adam Whitehead here, not quite getting as wide as he should. Very shallow line through there as um, Matty J around the teardrop, but he pushes now forward through to the final part of this uh, section. Oh, pushing big out. correction. Oh, yeah, big correction there by Adam Whitehead. Matty J will be absolutely over the moon with that lead run. A few mistakes there, eh, by both drivers. Well, it's going to come down to who made the most mistakes. We'll see them line up next to it. We'll see if we can get another uh, shot of the replay between these two drivers. But big mistakes in that one there. And contact with just prior to this massive yeah. contact between the two drivers, muscling for space. Yeah, the, the chase driver definitely is meant to give way uh, to the lead driver. Obviously, you can't faint massively, which is put the car to the opposite side and, and try and make contact. But yeah, a little bit of room was uh, definitely needed to be given. But yeah, let's watch here. Matty J comes through the centre section here, transitions the car to that outside zone, and then watch here from Adam. Just a big over-rotation and had to really pull it back. So big, big bobble there from Adam Whitehead. Having to re yeah, really gather that back up. So obviously not ideal uh, for the last part of that section. So we'll wait and see to see what the judges uh, say on this one. No matter what, uh, just uh, what an effort for Adam Whitehead to get all the way here. He picked the car up. He was lucky enough that that car was in tow for many other drivers. Oh, really? Couldn't get their uh, cars here. Of course, we've got uh, you know the Sorensen boys. Not sure if they were actually entered in this season, but though, neither of those cars. There we go. We've heard we've had a result. We'll find it out in prize giving. Sending both of these cars out right now for a siding lap. Now, got, just realise, eh, Steve, what's this battle coming up? This is the final of round two of the Pro Sport Championship D1NZ Mount Smart Stadium. In the front is Case Pullen Burry. In the core, Civil Construction, CK Earthworks, 2JZ powered Nissan S15. And in behind him is the ABC Drift S13 of Pete Drever. New to the D1NZ this season but certainly driving like a pro. He's already in, his, uh, in the final. Great to see these drivers taking the step up. Well, I think they've been following this sport for a fair while because that little book uh, we have, it's a great wee book there for uh, the young generation coming through. It has some classic uh, spiels as you can read through uh, the alphabet. My name's not mentioned, I might add, but that's all right, neither is Darren, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so you want to have a check out for them? I think that, what did we see that was, Steve? Uh, it was ABC. um, abcdrift.com. I'll, I'll yep. find that out. Yeah, I was indeed, I'm pretty sure. So, you can obviously go check that out. Taranaki Locals, I'm pretty sure. So it's abcdriftkids.com. abcdriftkids.com. Great book uh, for any birthdays or... And they've some... got kids' bucket hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, eh? And some race boots. I like that. All right, well, we're getting some warmth into the tyres. Pete Drever, first final of the D1NZ Pro Sport. But he is going up against somebody who it should just be in pro. And this kid is young. How old is Case Pullen Barry? I think he's about 16, 20, 17? 24, I think. <laughs> Cody's probably 24. Case is nowhere near it. I don't even think he was old enough. He was 15 last year, wasn't he? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. But no, very, very well. Uh, Actually, no, he was he was 17, I think, and then turned 18 in the grand final. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does a lot of sim driving, I hear. A uh, lot of driving behind the sim, which is giving him a bit of a technical side, but the skill behind this young fella is uh, second to none. So good to see. Well, this is the final of the D1NZ Pro Sport, and straight into action is Case <laughs> Willem Burry. Oh, right up by the concrete. Two wall taps on entry. No one has done that yet so far. Just absolutely skimmed the back of the car. Look at him right out on this outside zone here. Pete doing really well. Sitting that car up right in behind there as Case Bull and Burry comes through the centre section. Now Pete, Pete wants to pounce and get right up on the door there as Case pushes really wide into this outside section. But 
Pete doing a good job as well, sitting in behind. Of course, Civil Construction, the name on the side of Case Bull and Burry. ABC Drift on the side of Pete Drever. This is the final of Pro Sport. That was amazing. Repco replay, check it out. Bang, one. Yeah, committed. Boom, two. Well, we've seen how easy it can be. A foot too far and you're in the wall. But Case Pull and Burry, not me today, sir. I'm just going to touch that wall one, two, and get right into it. There it is, a nice close bit of proximity there by Pete. He tries to close the door on Case Pull and Burry as they come to the last part of the section where they've hard up at both of them. Look at the lock on these pro sport cars. We remember, have to remind everyone, this is the final of the Pro Sport uh, round two. Well, let's go to the second half of the battle. It's Pete Dreamer's turn to lead them out. Case going for a bit of a slip through, wants to go up and grab that proximity straight away as they head down the straight, the final of Pro Sport, Mount Smart Stadium. Yeah, look at this entry now. Pete Dreamer doing a nice entry through the center section. Look, not many corrections through here. Look at that, Case pulling Barry right up on the door here. Pete holding a nice wide line here too for Case to come right up on the door. This is a good battle by both drivers here. Case Pull and Burry being real smooth. Look at that transition right there. Snaps back, bang. Back up on the door there is Case Pull and Burry. Showing all these pro sport. I should be stepped up, but look at that by the young fella. They just wow. get, like, get on your feet. That wow. is a good battle. Wow. That was insane, Cole. Yeah, what a was. chase. Great lead. What a chase. Oh, it was. What a battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the Repco replay here as Pete throws it in. Look at the aggression there by Pete. Big entry there. Case Paul and Barry right there with him. Right on the door. Both cars. Minimal corrections through there. Case a little bit of a shortcut just to keep up on the door there. Gathers it back up again. Same thing again. Just shortcuts the track a little bit. And catch right back up. Nice driving there by Pete out the front. A little bit of a wheel drop through both of those inside clips. And then this is where it finished off. Right on the door there is Case Paul and Barry. Oh, Pete Drivers, S13. What a battle from the two youngsters. And now it's time to do the podiums for both Pro Sport and Pro. And we will begin with Pro Sport. All trophies will be given out today by our good man Rod McLean from Valvoline D on his head. He's Mr. V, he's the big cheese. All right, so in fourth position in Pro Sport today, in fourth position, driving the Plan B hydraulics car, the FCRX7, Adam Whitehead. Congratulations, buddy. And now we get to the first podium. And third place in Pro Sport, driving the S13 MCA Fabrication World Service, Matty J! <laughs> get up there and get your trophy, buddy, and get up on the podium. In second position in Pro Sport, driving the S13 ABC Drift Kids, Pete Drever! And that means for the second competition in a row, driving the core civil construction S14, your winner is Case Pullen Burry. That is your official podium for Pro Sport for round two of Valvoline D1NZ. Boys, hold those trophies up. And now spray some champagne. And now we'll get in here and have a quick chat. We'll ask Case Pullen Burry to come on down. Case, come on down, buddy. Mate, we'll get out. Let's come to the sunshine. We're always down around this beautiful smelling champagne. Terrible. Hey, mate, congratulations. Two in a row. What's driving you this season? Um, I don't really know, to be honest. Just, um, just yeah, like, just go as hard as possible. And, and we were just going to see what happened this season. And, um, yeah, I, I don't even know. It's just, it's hard to put into words. You looked on song all weekend. Did it feel like that? Um, yeah, like uh, we, we felt really comfortable in the car, um, and the the track was changing like every run. But like um, the car was just adapting really well. So yeah, yeah, felt comfortable. Well, congratulations, mate. Let's bring Pete Drever, who played 
picked up P2. Come on in, Pete. Congratulations, buddy. Uh, car looks great. You look, you look cool. Awesome. Cheers, man. No, we had a blast this weekend. It's been really good. Um, yeah, same as what Kay said. The track was hard to judge and get the tyre pressures right and get the drive we wanted. But, um, yeah, no, it ended up being a good weekend. So, yeah, wrapped. Look good, mate. Keep it going. Cheers, man. Thank you. Oh, there's Pete driven in third position. was Matty J. Come over here, Matty J. All right, Matty. P3. Stoked? Yeah, stoked as. Um, oh, you know, I've always sort of dreamt about this position, but I've never prepared for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really have too many words, but I just want to thank everyone that's backed me, everyone that's supported me. Uh, I did have a list, God. Oh, you got a list? Good man. Yeah, get that sponsor list out. Uh, just MCA Fab, CIB Engineering, Permapine, Stitch and Print, Informotive, OPM, Orizon, uh, Power Tool Centre, Rotorua, and my wife, she's just amazing. She's <laughs> She's, she's the, the rock in this whole thing, you know, she just, I couldn't do it without her and the crew, the boys are just all on, it's, um, yeah, I couldn't do it without them. Mate, that list is worth first place, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, well while we get the podium set up.